Hey everyone, I'm Sam from the Data Center team, and I'm here with Krister, our principal architect. And we're gonna go into the five best practices to reduce complexity and enable effective micro-segmentation for your Cisco data center environment. But before we go into the five best practices, I wanna first address complexity. So Krister, why is complexity the big challenge? Well, because security is normally part of networking conversations. How do you do security at the network? Networking is itself already complicated, and now adding security to that makes it even more complicated. So we have a, a complicated problem and a complicated solution. We want to replace that and solve the complicated problem with a simple solution. When it comes to policy mapping, one best practice is to use multi-dimensional labels. So Krister, tell us about what are multi-dimensional labels and how is it different than what is in Cisco Titration? Well, labels themselves are one aspect of reducing complexity. So we don't want to have to write policy based on IP addressing because IPs come and go. In modern workloads, we need some piece of metadata, a label or a tag, whatever you call it. And we want to be able to identify a workload from more than one dimension. Cisco Titration will offer tags, but it's one dimension. So you can tag a workload as a SQL server. But if I want to write policy based on a SQL server in a dev environment located in London, run by a team, I have to have multiple labels. And as my workloads increase, I'm going to end up with a lot of labels and a lot of operational burden. But with Illumio, I can have one label with multiple dimensions as part of that one label. So I can now write granular policy based on those concepts with a lot fewer labels. So we solve one aspect of complexity. We now have a simple approach to labeling at multiple dimensions at scale. Where do you implement micro-segmentation? Is it the network or the workload? Well, we have to remain focused on what we're trying to accomplish. We're trying to accomplish workload segmentation, not network segmentation. So the center of this universe is at the workload. We need to pay attention to the fact that by the time the packet has already hit the network, this decision, this security decision has already been made. Because traditionally, it's the other way around. The packet is born, it hits the network, and then I secure it. But now I'm dependent on the network. So the fact that workloads are everywhere today, public cloud, on-prem, both, if we can implement the security at the workload, now we are no longer dependent on where this workload resides, and we don't have to worry about what the underlying fabric can or cannot do. What you need is a purpose-built micro-segmentation platform designed from the ground up for the workload. It's not about detecting performance bottlenecks on the fabric, it's all about the workload. It's very tempting to uh, start collecting all sorts of networking flow information and look at packets, and now we end up with a, a complex solution again to a complex problem. We want to stay focused at the workload. It's just very tempting to include the network in the conversation. But remember, workloads are everywhere, which means that everywhere means the network is different. So we want to be independent of that, and we want to stay focused. It's like, it's like bringing an aircraft carrier to solve a problem meant for a speedboat. So if the aircraft carrier is Cisco Tetration, it will do the workload, but it'll collect lots of other things, increasing your operational complexity. The Lumio is a speedboat. We are focusing on one task agilely, efficiently, and simply, meaning that at the end of the day, you have a very large scale network, but a very simple operational workflow. So we want to stay focused at the workload and not give in to the temptation of including the network into these details. Scalability is a key consideration to data center security. So Krister, where is the bottleneck when it comes to scalability? Well, the bottleneck will come down to the number of elements that you're trying to manage. So you don't want to run into a situation where you scale up and you reach some ceiling and your security segmentation engine says, sorry, that's too many elements, I can't handle anymore. So with Cisco Titration, you have to take into account the fact that you have a lot of investment in hardware, multiple racks for storage and, and Nexus switches and the power and the cooling that goes in with that. So you have the, 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 the physical complexity and then the fact that it's collecting a lot, of, a lot of elements, a lot of data that is adding to the complexity around uh, what it can finally apply for policy. Uh, and remember, this will, this will especially be true in a microservices environment because a number of elements will now explode and you'll hit that limit. 
And Lumio uh, avoids that problem because we're all software. We're focused on a very specific task, uh, workload segmentation. We're not encumbered with all this other stuff. So our scalability numbers go well into the hundreds of thousands because we're just not weighed down. The big bloated approach of Cisco titration means that you're just going to hit a ceiling and then stop. We don't want to be that bottleneck. We want to allow you to scale out your network without having to worry about hardware and rack space and power and you know all this stuff. We want you to be able to scale and know that segmentation can scale with you. So when it comes to security complexity, one of the big challenges that we see for organizations is oftentimes reducing the security silos that they have inside of their environment. And oftentimes they have a lot of different multi-vendor solutions. What you actually need is a micro-segmentation platform that's truly designed so it is simple to use, easy to operationalize, and, and really designed to integrate with that tooling. Right, again, what we're trying to uh, solve is the problem of complexity. So if you look at Cisco Titration's approach, if you look under the hood, uh, they are a collection of various open source tools stitched together, trying to do a lot of these things that these other tools do, in addition to feeding out to those other tools. So you end up with multiple places to try to implement policy and collect information. And again, you're back to a complex picture. Illumio is very focused on exactly what we're trying to do. Uh, and then we integrate with these other tools seamlessly. So you can define your segmentation using our tool, and then from there, reach out and configure your load balancers, or your switches, or your firewalls, or we'll feed information out to the SIM. So for segmentation, you have one place to go and feed into that larger ecosystem, rather than trying to reinvent the wheel and end up again with a complex solution for a complex problem. So security analytics and automation is a key best practice to help to streamline operational complexity. But how they're implemented is really a key aspect to consider. Krister, can you tell us about how that relates to what you see? We, the architects, are trying to maintain simplicity. We have a complex problem. We want to stick to simple solutions. And we want to try to remove the human element as much as possible. So we want to rely on analytics to give us a very clear picture of what's going on. We want clear visibility about what applications are doing and to be able to drill down from that to what ports are talking to what ports across the network. So this will allow us to define our allow list. And we want those analytics tools to actually recommend allow list for us that we can then implement. So this reduces the, the dependency on the human to try to correlate a lot of this information. If you look at the way Cisco Titration approaches this, uh, this problem, they are basically offering you, the architect, a lot of knobs to turn. So there's a lot of information, but it was a lot relying on you to know which knobs to turn and how they correlate to each other. And the more humans are doing these things, the more uh, opportunities you have for simple mistakes. A lot of breaches, a lot of holes in your security architecture are due to simple errors. Humans are error prone. So we want to be able to rely as much as we can on the analytics tools to, to collect the information presented to us and suggest uh, how to implement these allow lists, sort of reducing the, uh, the, the surface at which humans can make mistakes. So the analytics tools need to give us visibility and allow us to implement and reduce the amount of errors, therefore maintaining simplicity and avoiding complexity, which is every architect's goal. Great. Thanks, Christopher. Security complexity is the biggest challenge you face. Why complicate things by deploying Cisco titration? A simpler approach to micro-segmentation can help you to quickly get to an effective outcome. So to summarize the five main best practice points that we, the architects, are trying to address when it comes to segmentation at the workload, they are these. One is we want to be able to define policy using something other than networking constructs. We don't want to have to define policy based on networking IPs or VLANs. We want to be able to use a labeling scheme. We want to be able to define a multi-dimensional labeling scheme to create policy that reads more like a human sentence and a policy which more closely reflects the way users perceive these resources. Second, we want to avoid complexity. Again, we have a complex problem to solve. We want to come up with a simple, scalable solution to this complexity. We don't want to add to the complexity. Third is that since we're trying to solve a workload problem, we want to use a tool that is uh, specifically designed for workloads. We don't want to have to use a networking segmentation engine to try to solve a workload segmentation problem. This has to be resident somehow on the workload itself. 
We also want this to not incur problems on scalability. So as the scale of elements and workloads and hosts increases, we don't want you to hit some hard stop because the segmentation engine reached the ceiling. We want to have the segmentation follow your scalability to very hyperscale sizes without any kind of choke point. And finally, we want to reduce the human element in this as much as possible. The more knobs you present for the human to turn, the more uh, decisions that you rely on the, the administrator to make, the more chance you introduce for errors to be made. A lot of security breaches are due to just simple misconfigurations. So we want our tool to present analytics, present visibility, and present suggestions for how to define these allow lists and not assume that the user has a PhD and is able to do this on their own. So the biggest security risk is between the keyboard and the chair, and we want to try to reduce that uh, risk as much as possible in this final solution. So thank you for watching, and be sure to check out our other videos on similar topics.